Because what you need to understand in the words of Jesus that that what comes out of our mouth is of very little value with regard to our profession of faith. Because he says, many will come before me on that day and say, Lord, Lord, and I'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. Let me give you an example. I'm from America. I know nothing about soccer. So I tell you, I'm a football player. I'm a soccer player. And you go, really? Tell me about the game. I don't know anything about it. Tell me about the rules. Got me there. Show me how you can kick a ball. And I try to kick it and fall down. And you look at me and you go, you're no soccer player. Use the same logic with Christianity. My dear friend, there are all sorts of things going on in this world today in the name of Jesus Christ that have absolutely nothing to do with the name of Jesus Christ. And there are a lot of people claiming relationship with Jesus Christ that have no relationship whatsoever with Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, if there is a devil, and there is, and he is the enemy of Christianity, isn't it the wisest thing he could do is to raise up a group of people who call themselves Christians, though they live like the devil. And that has happened, my friends. But remember this. You will find no excuse on the day of judgment by pointing to other condemned people who claim to belong to Jesus. Because the person you have to deal with is not them. It's Jesus Christ himself. Who is he? You see, you only have... Three options. He's a liar. Because he said he was the son of God and he knew he wasn't. That's a liar. Or he's a lunatic. He said he was the son of God because he sincerely believed he was the son of God. But anyone who says that and believes that and is not the son of God is a lunatic. As C.S. Lewis said, on the level of a poached egg. Or he's Lord. And if he's Lord then he is the one with whom you must deal.